When someone comes to see me, I'm not just interested in the physical dimensions. I'm interested in all the other dimensions. I see my patients as a whole, as a whole woman, as a whole person. The concept of an integrative approach, which is evidence-based, is uh, a, a powerful antidote to a lot of the stress that, that um, health consumers feel. And it was a relief for me to also practice what I believe. Evidence-based means that there is medical literature, there are clinical studies that have been done that show that whatever we're talking about, whether or not it's mindfulness meditation or tamoxifen, is a safe and effective therapy. Integrative refers to bringing together the conventional paradigm, all the practices from regular medicine, allopathic medicine, with evidence-based alternative medicine. So we're really integrating the two, but like I said, eventually the word integrative might fall away because it's really just good practice. I'll always offer a physical exercise prescription. And as I mentioned, I have specific training in how to prescribe a safe physical regimen that's doable on a regular basis and how to work with someone so that, that actually takes place. They actually do their regimen so that they like it. So there are some studies that look at quality of life and making sure cancer patients are doing the physical exercise that they're comfortable with. I always touch on a mind-body practice. I think that that is an important staple and foundation for recovering from the particular physical symptoms, but as I mentioned, it's very significant for emotional coping, for pain reduction, for reducing drugs um, uh, that are needed for anxiety and pain, and also just for getting more physically active sooner. Certainly acupuncture is also uh, plays an important role, so I might refer someone for acupuncture, not just for nausea and for fatigue, uh, which it's well studied for, and there's good evidence for efficacy with nausea and fatigue, but also for some of the neuropathy. There's other factors that acupuncture can help with. Uh, hot flashes would be a perfect example. The center of this approach really has to do with treating each woman individually. So that means not creating a cookie cutter approach, not just putting a woman into a pool of women who have breast cancer and then treating according to broad guidelines, but really personalizing treatments to her particular situation, her particular symptoms that she's working with as she's going through treatment and after treatment, and the issues that she's left with um, after her surgery or chemotherapy or radiation, if she's chosen these options, after those are over, what challenges she is she left with? And not just stopping after physical diagnoses or the cancer has been officially treated, but really continuing to work and support that woman until she is healthy on every level. So physically, emotionally, mentally, and also feels a spiritual sense of equilibrium, meaning a sense of meaning, a sense of connectedness, an ongoing sense of social support. So this is essential that we don't just treat the illness, that we really treat the patient.